Hey friends, and welcome in to A Walk Through the Word, Daily Bread with Crystal Fry. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and it's time for a little praise and worship. Today's episode takes us into Psalm 147, verses 1 through 11, to remind us how pleasant and fitting it is to praise the Lord. Thank you for being here with me today, and I pray that you will listen with an open heart to hear the Word of God speaking to you. All right, friends, let's dive in. God's Word is powerful. The missing link is our identity in Christ. When we know who we are and who He created us to be, that is when we can truly walk in freedom. You are never alone. There is hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. Today we're looking at Psalm 147, verses 1 through 11, which read, Praise the Lord! How good it is to sing praises to our God! How pleasant and fitting to praise Him! The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Verse 4. He determined the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God on the harp. Verse 8. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of man. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. It can be easy today to limit our thoughts about praise and worship to just singing songs in our church service or at Christian music events. But true praise and worship go far beyond the music and singing and are actually two different things. In the original Greek, praise means to sing, to tell of, to give, or to confess. Dictionary.com defines praise as, one, the act of expressing approval or admiration, commendation, laudation, two, the offering of grateful homage in words or song as an act of worship. So our Praise is an outward expression of our thanks and gratitude for the blessings of God. And these blessings are not limited to those that specifically impact our own lives. We praise God for who he is as our creator, for his mighty and magnificent works. We praise God for his protection, his provision, his promises. We praise God for the goodness he bestows on others. We thank him for the gift of salvation. We praise God because he is God and he is worthy to be praised. Without him, we would not exist, period. (laughs) He is our protector, our defender. He goes before and behind us. He is on all sides. He never leaves us. He will never forsake us. He provides for us every good thing. He gives us beauty. He surrounds us with beauty. He knows every single hair on our heads. Yes, even the ones that have fallen out. (laughs) And every moment of our lives, from our first breath to our last And the love that he has for each one of us is immeasurable. He loves each one of us like there's only one of us. Praise should be a regular part of our day, whether we are experiencing good times or hard times. 
there are so many things that we can praise God for, no matter what our circumstances are. And sometimes when things are tough and it's harder for us to see the things that we need to praise God for, sometimes we have to look a little bit harder. We have to push in a little bit closer to God in order for us to see them. But when we put our focus on praising God for all he is and all that he has done and all that he will do, we can find strength for the hard times. And in the good times, that praise just makes them all the more sweet. So as the psalmist says in verse 1, praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise him. And in verse 7, sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God on the harp. And friend, don't worry about your singing voice. God thinks you sound amazing. Now let's take a quick look at worship. From Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, we're told that the original Greek and Hebrew meaning for worship is to prostrate oneself, to bow down, to fall face down, to pay homage and to pay respect. Worship, in its true sense, is very personal. It's very much between you and God. Yes, we have what we would call corporate worship, where we worship en masse in like a congregational setting or in a big group setting. But even though we're all worshiping together at the same time, we're still worshiping God as individuals. We worship what we serve, and we serve what we worship. In Matthew 6.24, Jesus says, No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. This is why our worship is so important and so intimate and personal. It's part of our relationship with God. God desires our hearts, and our hearts are at the heart of our worship. In verse 10, the psalmist says, His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of man. And verse 11, The Lord delights in those who fear him, meaning those who respect, honor, revere, love, and worship him, who put their hope, in his unfailing love. So today, friends, let us shout to the Lord for all the earth to hear, right? Let us sing praises to the one who is worthy of all honor, praise, and glory. And let us worship our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, drawing ever closer to him, allowing him to work in and through us for his good will, for his good pleasure. Thank you, friend, for being here with me today. Y'all, it truly is such a blessing to be on this journey with you. And I want to know what's on your heart and on your mind today. So leave me a comment or send me a message and let me know. Come back and join me for our next episode where I'll be chatting with Pastor Scott LaPierre about living God's way. Until then. Hey friend, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's my pleasure as always to be here with you. If what you listened to today resonated with you, if you enjoyed listening to the show, do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. Those reviews are so helpful. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of them. And go ahead and share this episode out with a friend. Invite them along for a walk through the word and let's enjoy that daily bread together. See you tomorrow.